Now, around the world, one in three people suffer from something known as hidden hunger. Their stomachs may be full, but the food they are eating is not nutritious. A San Francisco food technology firm is working in Liberia to see if it can make a popular Liberian dish more nutritious. Viewers Michelle Quinn reports. This is called Power Gari. Um, gari is also the Liberian name for cassava. Like a, an amazing cream of wheat, the, the, the texture, the mouthfeel of, of this cassava from the farm is just perfect. Thomas Bowman has worked as a chef at award-winning restaurants. Now he's in San Francisco cooking up Power Gari, a mush made from the cassava plant and fortified with vitamins, minerals, and protein, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. So this is something that they, they eat every single day uh, there. And what we kind of have done is, is taken the product and uh, kind of made a culturally relevant food better. So this Power Gari here has about 12 grams of protein um, per serving. Bowman works for Just, a San Francisco tech food company that makes mayonnaise, cookies, and other foods more nutritious by adding high-tech, plant-based ingredients. In January, the company began selling Power Gari in Liberia. Its vision is to fix world malnutrition by offering local foods that taste good and provide vitamins, minerals, and protein. More than 30 percent of Liberians suffer from poor nutrition. It's sometimes hard to get the exact flavor profile uh, because, you know, the the cassava or, or the sugar, whatever it may be, you know, that we're using, you know, in northern Liberia is different than what he can get access to here in the office. Quinn brings ingredients from Liberia, where he lives, back to the San Francisco office, where they are tested and cooked. Liberians in the country make the final product, relying on mostly local ingredients. Quinn talks up Power Gari to his neighbors in Monrovia in Liberian Creole. Uh, your children, they will grow so big and strong, and they'll be healthier, and the taste is sweet. The taste is so sweet, the children, they will think it's okay. Just makes its money by licensing its product to local manufacturers. It may go next to Nigeria or Kenya. The goal, says company founder Josh Tetrick, is nothing less than solving the world's unjust food system. We want to end micronutrient deficiency in the world. We're starting with Liberia. Um, and the potential to do it, I think, quicker than a lot of people realize is, is right in front of us. Just as bringing a Silicon Valley drive and know-how to solving one of the world's most vexing problems. And they are starting by selling a meal in Liberia that costs about five cents per serving. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, San Francisco.